Hi again. Uh, so today's video was a follow-up to uh, the last time, I think about two weeks ago, which um, dealt with the placement of my modified Chinese restaurant family reunion Lego set. Uh, as I explained at the end of that video, placing the set had introduced one or two other issues uh, in terms of finding the space on this side of the street and also uh, some longer standing problems I had with the existing placement of buildings in the street that required additional work. So let's just look at what the problem is or was. Now there are going to be a few things to bear in mind before undertaking this. Uh, for example, the crossings here which line up with the entrance to the park there and uh, also one here for the recreation area. And going further down, there's another one that takes you to the uh, fishing store in the Chinese garden. So basically, if I move these plates around, I'm going to have to move the crossings. And that includes the traffic lights and and uh, anything that uh, is a knock-on effect, notably the curbstones at the side of the pavement. Uh, so that's the sort of thing that, you know, one job leads to another and past experience has taught me to be um, conscious of. Um, but the first job is really going to be to clear off this side of the um, of the street and then take up a little bit of road here so I can screw in uh, uh, pieces of timber at right angles to where the shelf will go and then support the shelf probably of an area of about two feet or 60 centimeters if you if uh, you're more up to date than me so let's get started okay so the area has been cleared of uh, the buildings i've moved this section of road onto here from here because i need this space clear in order to put supports in for the uh, shelf extension um, also the park i've left loosely in position as i didn't really I like the idea of trying to move something that's four baseboards long onto a separate table. But it is now loose, so uh, I can reposition that. Okay, later. so we've got the supports in place. Now we just need to screw the board on top of them. shelf is fitted uh, into space, screwed in. A little bit of springiness sticking out this far, but really nothing I don't think to uh, be concerned about. Not the prettiest of jobs, but at least it will be hidden once the uh, base plates are, on, are in position. So let's make a start on that. Okay, bringing this up to date, this is where we're currently uh, positioned with things. Uh, as before, the old fishing store holds up this end of the street. I put between it a 16 stud wide green space, which provides entrance and exit from this end of the park. The park now having been moved from the top end of the room to roughly the halfway position. Uh, as a consequence, we had to move the uh, road crossing there what we would call a zebra crossing i don't know what you call that in north america but obviously it's a means for pedestrians to cross from one side or the other of the road uh, the botanical garden which i can now see nice and clear whereas before i had to bend my neck over at the very end of the room so i'm pleased that that's there again we have a green space uh, with a bit of pavement on the front, uh, leading us into the uh, side of the Chinese Lantern Garden. Uh, if you're familiar with the set, you'll, you'll notice that I've added extra pieces from my spares box to put a sort of perimeter fence or rail on the side and also the back. Okay, so we have the side entrance or an exit from the Lantern Garden leading onto a paved area that takes us to the Chinese restaurant. 
and that was one of the key things I wanted from this uh, work on this side of the street was to get these two Chinese themed buildings or areas together and I'm quite pleased with that. You'll notice the uh, birch tree perhaps is part of the uh, birch bookshop over the road and I've moved that over here simply to give a clearer view of that building and also it's a little feature to put in that green area for now. I've always liked the um, expression on the little lad's face down there holding the ladder while presumably it's his dad attempts with, it, with his wife's umbrella given it's pink to remove the model plane stuck in the tree I think that's a really nice touch on Lego's part okay once again the zebra crossing has been moved to line it up with uh, the, this side of the road with the Chinese uh, restaurant moving past this we now have the recreation area, which was previously in the middle of the street, now moved to one end, which is, a, I think, a better place to put it. Um, I have expanded this by one base plate, uh, as it was a bit tight before, but really the purpose of this area is a holding area to make room for potential future buildings. So it's it, there's something going on, it's green, it's somewhere to put these various minifigures and um, vehicles. But it's not the end product for me, this needs something, somewhere, doing to it. But anyway, time will tell perhaps. And that's about the size of the, uh, of the work I've undertaken for now. I hope you found that of some interest, or if nothing else, curiosity. Uh, and if you have been watching, um, thank you. It's nice of you to make the effort. Thanks again. Bye for now.